Welcome to the Weekly News Show. My name is Sean Mark. We have, oh, I didn't count uh, at all. One, two, three, four, five items today. So let's go back. Number one, the Pokemon Direct, the, the real one was today, and they went over Pokemon Sword and Shield. I'm very excited about these. They have new animals, new places to explore, a new tree doctor, new ways to play together, new things you can do with your Pokemon. I'm very excited. It's the first mainline... <laughs> Pokemon game on a console so I, I haven't played oh I didn't turn this light on much better so anyway first mainline Pokemon game uh, in, a, in a while it'll be, be one of the first ones I played since the original I think I played silver and gold but I don't remember but I definitely played gen 1 Pokemon can't wait to jump back in this game looks fun it looks great just ways to play with your friends hopefully and uh, yeah, let's find out. Let's play it. Let's do it. Number two, Naughty Dog is taking Uncharted and The Last of Us PS3 multiplayer servers offline. This is kind of sad, but it kind of makes sense. I mean, if you know you don't have any money, sure, get a PS3, get a bunch of great PS3 games if they still work. And I guess all their online servers are leaving because they want to make room for the PS5. Whenever that comes out or gets announced, whatever. So yeah, this doesn't surprise me, but Naughty Dog's a great company, and I actually heard good things about their multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, uh, if you're playing it, it sucks to be you. Number three, we're gonna do some E3 rumors. Number three A, Halo Infinite gameplay is going to be at E3 2019, and it looks like it's going to be a next gen game. That's right, Halo Infinite, which I completely forgot about, is going to be at E3. Calling it a next gen game makes me think even more that they're going to show something about their next gen console and then they're going to be showing off games on that next gen console. We're going to get a code name, we're going to get some specs, something. So that's cool. I love the Halo series. I would love to jump back into it. Hopefully Halo Infinite does it. I guess we'll have to find out. 3 B, Splinter Cell, E3 2009. Prospects get even weirder with these odd goggles. So you can buy Sam Fisher's goggles. And some people are thinking, well, because this is available, maybe that means the Splinter Cell is coming back. Who knows? The last Splinter Cell I played was extremely fun. Hopefully they bring it back. I guess we'll have to wait and see for E3. And 3C... This Fable 4 leak says that Avalon is gone and there are different planets. So, uh, yeah, there's just a rumor mill going on about Fable 4. That where you were in Fable 4, Avalon is destroyed and it's completely open. There's no guns. You can ignore main quests. And I, I don't know if this is real. I want a Fable 4. But if you divert too far away from Fable 4, is it really going to be Fable 4? Or not maybe a Fable Infinite is what they could have called it. Or a Fable Eternal or something like that. But who knows? Uh, I, I'm excited about E3. If this is announced on Xbox's stage, PlayStation really dropped the ball by letting Xbox get all the big announcements this year. What is wrong with you, PlayStation? Maybe they ran away from E3 because they know Xbox is going to kill it this year. So, yeah, yet again, I have to wait to find out. Number four, if you follow me on social media, you know this already. But, from Xbox? I like video games. So, Xbox uh, is going to be making some, like, gamer stuff like like hair gel and body spray and body wash and it's from Lynx L-Y-N-E-X and this is Axe deodorant in Australia, New Zealand and Asia apparently these aren't coming to America shockingly I thought this was an American product 
Well, I guess they'll wait to see what happens in other countries and they'll be like, hey, maybe they do want this. And then PlayStation will have some body washes and then Nintendo will have some body washes. What a weird, weird, strange world we would live in. Number five, not a lot of people are covering this, but I decided to put up the E3 2019 schedule of the main conferences that are coming up. We have Microsoft, June 9th at one o'clock Pacific time, which I'm pretty sure is 12 o'clock Central time. Then Bethesda the same day, Sunday, June 9th at 5.30 Pacific time, which I'm pretty sure is 4.30 Pacific time. Then we have Ubisoft on Monday at 1 o'clock, which no one will see till they get home at 1 o'clock Pacific time. Square Enix, which no one will definitely see till they get home at 6 o'clock Pacific time. Monday's kind of going to suck. And then Nintendo on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time, because this is going to be streaming out of Japan. And uh, that's interesting. I, uh, whew, I'm looking forward to E3 this year. Sucks the PlayStation isn't there. One of those top three competitors to really get me hyped. To really go, ah, uh, who's gonna, who's gonna win this year? You know, it's it's the year of new consoles, and, and where is PlayStation? So we'll see. I don't know. I'm excited. Yeah. Now it's time for most people's favorite part of the show games come out this week. <laughs> Number one, let's go through the Xbox free games that are coming out for the month of June, and they are as pathetic as usual. For Xbox 360, we have Earth Defense Force 2017. I've actually heard good things about this game and never played it. And Portal for 360. Portal's a great game. If you still have a 360, you still have Xbox Live, you still haven't played this game or anything, please download it and play it for free. It is such a awesome game. For Xbox One, we have NHL 19. <laughs> um, yep, and Rivals of Aether, which I've never heard of. Number two, Warhammer Cross Chaos Bane. This is coming out for PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. This is a new hack and slash game from the Warhammer universe. That's right, you like Diablo, you like hacking and slashing. Well, the Warhammer universe is doing the same thing, and I hope you like it. Thanks for watching the Weekly News Show. My name is Jean-Marc Cousin. Thanks for having me on you see. Now you have all the news, now do whatever you want with it. Thanks for watching, and I guess play Warhammer, because it looks like Diablo looks fun. <laughs>